Yeah, and we are growing and starting new programs like the, like the we are beginning the, the, the degree program in dry lands uh, to do with this uh, uh, part of uh, the country. Mm. Yeah. By the way, I like the disparity, the power of education whenever we started by the thirty years ago. Yes. Because education at the end is about power also. It is about being able to develop your life, to control your life. And, 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 and most importantly, I would say, to give something back to society, you know? But it's so education that we build up society and uh, sometimes hard that people cannot understand that. Uh, it's something very sad. But, you know, and that is also, I think, as a Catholic Church, that we always stood for education, education, education. Because it's the truth that sets you free, you know, and that is very important. I mean, of course, it's, it's a biblical saying, but it is true. Because if you know the truth, then you have nothing to hide. You can go ahead. You can, yeah. huh? And that is, that is something like, uh, yeah, in a sense, these people were martyrs for, for because of education, in a sense. Right? Yeah. But also on that one, you build up, in a sense, a new university, you know, it's like, was not in vain, you continued. Yeah, we have continued. Hmm. I felt like Mia was here uh, before the attack and now after the attack. And, and, and the question. Yes. Okay, it was uh, devastating and traumatizing, but uh, when we went to Moi University, we underwent recovery and uh, counseling. Uh, coming back was not easy, especially on the teaching, the academic staff. We have also then. January 2016. That was um, after around seven months after the attack. Mm. Mm. Now we are in actually the fifth year, almost at the fifth year since we reopened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. In fact, most of the students who are we, we get are uh, government sponsored, although we have also more than a half who are uh, school based who are a part-time uh, student who come from around. But the regular students who come from all over the country, at first they were fearing. But with the time, with the reassurances, they get to settle down. And they, they end up liking it. In fact, many of them who are here, they say, OK, now they have realized they can acquire the education here. At first they were fearing it. And a few manage maybe to transfer. But those whom we get to convince, they are able to settle down. And finally, we have uh, some of the first products are out there now, mm, working. And even Bukarisa, it's good, no? To have a university like that, it yeah, brings development. Yeah. It, it, it also encourages the economy in one way or another, because mm -hmm. so that is good. Yeah. But this is the only uh, university in the entire northeastern region, which is very vast and very big. And the population is also very high. Mm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of youth. Yeah, so there are so many of them. Mm. And we are encouraging quite a number and uh, sensitizing the community around to bring more students. Uh, they don't need to go very far. They have an institution here to advance their dreams. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Shall we say a prayer? Yes. 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 Yeah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Loving God, gather to your heart the victims of violence and hate. In the wake of unspeakable suffering, walk with us and comfort those who lost their sons and daughters unexpectedly and needlessly. Breathe your life into their spirits. Rise up among us those who will tirelessly work for unity and reconciliation. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Amen. Perpetual light shine on them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. From every evening, Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.
ESE students are out on, after the lockdown. They are at home and they had completed a year. It's a long way to uh, set up for the start of another academic year. Mm. Some have gone on your attachment, field attachment, internship, teaching practice, and so on. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. With the presence of the Pope here, we are hopeful that God is near us and He will always protect us. We are so happy. Yes. So we thank you so much that you've come. Mm. Thank you. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. No, also, a thing I would like to say is that, you know, the, 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 the people who did this were extremists. I myself have been living in, in Islamic countries for more than 10 years. And uh, this is not Islam. Uh, the real Muslim, he is a man of, of peace and of kindness, and a man of openness with a warm heart who wants to serve his God in all honesty, uh, is not violent on the country. Many times I feel we as Christians can learn a lot from Muslims in their devotion, in their care for others, in their brotherhood. You know? That is also something I think what, what our Pope is teaching, Pope Francis, very much underlining that, that we are all brothers. You know? And all of us know that, by the way. I mean, I have many Muslim friends. And of course we have a different faith, we have a different religion. But my best friends are Muslims. And, and that is no, there is no issue in that. And that is something which also we have to learn that these kinds of things have happened and who knows, God forbid, may happen again, is not representative for all religion. And that is always think something that we should keep in mind. And always again, we should reach out to the other side and say, okay, though however painful it might be, we are brothers, we are sisters. Together we want to build up this world. That is very important, I think, to underline it each and every time again. Even though it's difficult at times, but and by the way, uh, we also hurt sometimes the other side through our careless behavior. So that is also something I just wanted to say. Uh, because we live in this world together, you know. Pope Francis uh, published uh, an encyclical a document not long ago, Fratelli Tutti, it's called, We Are All Brothers, in which he tries to elaborate on that, that in spite of all the differences, the greatest value that we share is humanity as such. And that is also something which we all can, can identify with, you know. We are all fathers, mothers, we are all uh, daughters and sons, and we all are trying to live a better life. We all try to come out of, out of a misery, out of our conflicts, out of our poverty. That is true for a Christian, that is true for a Muslim, that is true for a Buddhist, for a Hindu. These basic values are the same for each and every one of us. And I think we need to build on that one. Yeah. And I think you as a university are doing a great job in that. Yeah. Yeah. So and I really appreciate it and I want to you know, express my respect for that. So thank you for that. Finally, I'd like to mm -hmm. tell you that uh, in the university we have also freedom of worship. Uh, we have students who subscribe to various um, denominations, particularly for Catholics. We have around 60 students who are uh, practicing Catholics. And uh, we meet uh, weekly for prayers on Fridays. And uh, our Christian community is known as St. Ignatius of Antioch. That is the name of our uh, Christian community for the Catholic students of Garissa University. I'm their patron been their pattern for the second year and Father George is our, our chaplain. We normally have uh, monthly mass. He normally comes for mass uh, at least every month. Uh, I think now that the students are out when we resume, particularly September, we resume with uh, our plan of activity. Normally we have a plan of activities uh, besides meeting for prayers. We do go out, we do some charity, we visit the orphanage, the, the prisoners, the children home, among other activities. They also participate in the activities of the Cathedral Church. Eh? So we are uh, appreciative of uh, your Lordship. And as a representative of the Pope, we 
uh, acknowledge you are coming and uh, thank you so much. I'm told this is the first time you are coming to Garissa. So welcome again. Uh, when you go back, convey our special grat gra gratitude to the bishop. There is Father Jinami, Gigi Jinami, who came the other time <laughs> and expressed the interest of uh, wanting to build a chapel here for the Catholic students. Uh, still, we are pursuing the plans with uh, Father Dodge. I think the bishop also is aware. So we are grateful, convey our greetings. And when the students come back, I will also actually even now send you a greetings to them. It is, yeah, it's unfortunate that they couldn't be around, but uh, I think we have one or two. I think we have students who are those students who are here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, he's one of them. Yeah. Uh, he's one of the students, he's also part of the Catholic Student Association. Yeah. So, thank you so much, and uh, we say that now we are glad and uh, grateful to God that uh, please life continues. Education says the day by Yeah. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. Bishop, you can, yeah. you can as Drafted on top of this, you can have a look at it. You can have a look at this the tree that we've planted, the name. This, um, very good by H.E. Bishop. Yeah, okay, so that's it, I think. Yeah. Mm.
xấu tiếp hapa nchini mashama askofu mkuu Bart van Megen katika eneo hili la chuo kikuu cha Garissa tukiwa bado tuko katika jimbo katoliki la Garissa katika Jumapili hii ya kupaa kwake bwana wetu Yesu Kristu huzuni kwamba miaka mitano iliyopita kama kuandikwa pale katika eh, wa, wa, na nane walipoteza maisha yako kwa shambulizi hilo tunakumbuka kwa huzuni kubwa nimekuwa kidonda katika katika jamii yetu katika nchi yetu na hasa katika maisha ya wale wanafunzi waliopoteza maisha yao sala zetu zaende katika ziende kwa, kwa jamaa zao wazazi na wote waliohusika kwa njia moja ama nyingine kwa kupotelewa na wapenzi wao na basi kitu mashamu askofu mkuu ameandika kitabu cha wageni na aka, akapanda mti wa kumbukumbu ili iweze kuwa kumbukumbu kwa uh, waumini wa Katoliki na hasa wanafunzi ambao kama tulivyosikia kutoka kwa mwalimu wanasomea katika chuo hiki akialika pia waendelee watakao kuwa wakifungua hapo mwezi wa tisa basi kujumuika kama waumini katika eneo hili kwa sababu maisha lazima yanaendelea na imekuwa ni ziara ambayo imekuwa ya, ki, ya, 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 ya kihistoria kwamba ni mara yake ya kwanza kufika katika eneo hili la Jimbo la Garissa na kufika katika chuo hiki kikuu ili aweze na yeye kuwa shahidi wa mambo haya ambayo ni ya kutafuta amani na maelewano kati ya jamii wanaoishi hapa. Basi eh, kuacha katika nafasi hii ambayo itabaki historia katika nchi yetu kwamba eh, sisi sote ni ndugu alivyoandika Baba Mtakatifu Francisco katika barua yake hiyo ya kwamba sote ni ndugu maisha yetu tunaishi katika dunia hii moja ambayo tuliumbiwa na Mwenyezi Mungu basi japo kwa tuna tofauti ya kidini tofauti ya rangi tofauti ya, ya familia sote ni jamaa moja ya Mungu yule mmoja aliyetuumba basi tunakuacha na picha hiyo ambayo ni kumbukumbu ya waliopoteza maisha yao kutokana na tofauti za kidini tuomba Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kutujali na kutalia amani maelewano na utangamano katika nchi yetu dini wala siasa zisi tutenganishe sisi kama raia ambao tunaishi kama kawaida katika mitaa yote tunafanya kazi pamoja lakini kutokana na mada, uh, na matamshi wakati mwingine mabaya ya viongozi wa kisiasa wakati mwingine vio, ma, matamshi ya viongozi wa pia wa, 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 wa makanisa na imani tunaweza kuwa tuna, 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 tuna tofautiana basi nakutakia kila raheri tuko bado katika jimbo katoliki la Garissa kwa mara yetu ya kwanza kama kuinjilisha kutoka jimbo hili kesho bado tunaandamana na mheshimu mheshimu askofu mkuu Bart van Megen katika uh, katedrali ya mtakatifu uh, Maria uh, wa Consolata katika kufungua eneo jingi ene ja eneo jingine la eh, shule iliyojengwa kwa heshima ya aliyekuwa uh, askofu wa kwanza mheshimiwa askofu aliyestaafu Paul Darmanen kutoka katika shule hii uh, ya uh, chuo hiki cha Garissa 
ni matangazo yalikuwa ya moja kwa moja tukiandamana na mwashama askofu mkuu pita wa wenu jina langu shukurani kwa wote aliyofanikisha zoezi hili yeye mwenyewe atavuka atavuka mto tana kwenda ngambo ya ya ya, ya county ya Tana River katika zoezi lingine la katika eh, kazi za huduma za, z, huduma kwa jamii nasi basi nakutakia jioni njema Mungu akubariki na kukulinda endelea kutazama runinga ya Capuchin kutoka Garissa chuo kikuu cha Garissa ni Capuchin TV tukikwambia kwamba tunaendelea kujumuika pamoja katika ujenzi wa imani ujenzi wa maisha ya pamoja Mungu akubariki na kukulinda mimi ndugu Peter Wawero Mfransisko Mkapuchini Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life and sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb Jesus O merciful O loving O sweet virgin Mary Amen To get Hail Holy Queen as your skiza tune send skiza followed by code 7381025 and send it to 811 Coronavirus COVID-19 is a respiratory virus spreading across the world. The infection is spread from droplets of coughing and sneezing of an infected person, touching or shaking hands or being in contact with contaminated surfaces or objects with the virus. The signs and symptoms are fever, coughing, headache, body ache, difficulty in breathing. The disease can be prevented by regularly washing hands with soap and running water. Avoid close contact with people who have flu-like symptoms. Avoid handshake, hugs and kissing. Also, protect yourself by covering your mouth or nose using a disposable tissue while coughing or sneezing. If you experience these symptoms and you had traveled or been in contact with a person from a country reporting COVID-19, you should isolate yourself for 14 days and seek immediate medical attention or report to the nearest health center this message has been brought to you by the government of Kenya and its partners for accurate information on covid-19 dial star 719 hash or call 719 follow us on twitter at @moh_kenya underscore @spokesperson_gok_who